Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2016 Chevrolet Traverse LTZ. This Traverse is showing just over 63,000 miles. If you would like to see a high resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There you will also find a free included Carfax report verifying that this vehicle has had an accident and damage free history. Alongside that Carfax report, you'll find a long list of technical data related to the remaining brake pad life, the remaining tire life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. And that'll give you that extra peace of mind knowing this vehicle has not been in a collision and has all of its original paint on the bodywork. But today I'll give you a quick tour of this vehicle, show you some of the more notable features and go over some of the condition with you. So we'll start by looking at this paint. Now on a cloudy day like this, it appears to just be a traditional black paint job as you may expect, but in the sunlight, it's got this nice metallic quality to the paint. It really sparkles and it looks wonderful. It just gives it that extra bit of style on the exterior that really helps it stand out in this class. As you can see, the paint and the bodywork is nice and smooth. It looks great as I walk down the passenger side of the vehicle. And despite minor wear on the paint, as one may expect from a vehicle with this mileage, it really does look phenomenal and it presents beautifully. Now, as we look at the front fascia, you'll find the headlight lenses to be free of any oxidiz oxidization. You'll find the little Chevy emblem in there. I just noticed that recently. I thought that was kind of a cool little note to point out. I like the blacked out Chevy emblem as well. That is a factory Chevy bow tie there. I like how it plays with the rest of that black and chrome spec on this vehicle. You'll find both headlights are in equally nice condition. All of the chrome trim on this front fascia just looks wonderful and it complements the styling very well. This is an attractive SUV in its class. Again, same story as we move down the driver's side. Paint looks to be in great shape. Find these wheels are also in awesome shape with the most minimal, minimal scuffing occasionally on the outside of the wheel, but really beyond that, it's just perfect. These wheels are great, 20 inch wheels. Plenty of protection from the curb, of course, which is good news. And you'll find the tires have tons of life remaining. As we look at all four corners here. Again, these wheels are just about perfect. Just very, very minor imperfections, as one may expect. As we look at the rear of the vehicle, find the chrome badging with that nice blacked out Chevy emblem again to be in perfect shape. Tail lights look awesome. There you go, as you can see the all-wheel drive badge, of course signifying all-wheel drive. It's a wonderful choice here in New England. You can see even the chrome trim on that loading deck there is in great shape. It's a good place to look if you want to see how well somebody's cared for this vehicle. A lot of people will throw their cargo into the vehicle and tend to damage that area. But of course, the paint on the hood is looking nice and smooth. So next up, let's move on to the interior. I'll give you a quick tour there and then we'll fire it up for you. So the interior on this Traverse is a nice place to be. You have these full leather seats with the nice contrasted white stitching. You'll find the bolsters to be in wonderful condition on both the bottom of the seat and the seat back. Headrest as well, you can see that nice leathers in perfect condition, nice stitching, and the passenger seat is no different. You find just minor, minor kind of wrinkled lines in the leather, but nothing that is out of the ordinary. So we make our way inside. Find a few nice options, like you have the heated steering wheel control just there on your left toggle. This nice little storage container on the top of the dashboard. It's a nice little thing to have. You also have plenty of natural light coming into the cabin. You have these dual sunroofs for your front and rear passengers. Again, a very nice place to be. I'm going to fire it up. Key is in my pocket. Let me grab that. This vehicle also does have a remote start, which I'll demonstrate at the end of this video. Fires up without hesitation off of a cold start. Needle sweep there. As you see, just a seatbelt warning flashing there, but of course nothing of concern. This is a super reliable vehicle, as is common with these Chevy Traverse models. You see the MyLink system booting up just there. You have a nice rear view camera as well when you're reversing and it points out any obstacles you may have. Awesome sound system provided by Bose. You can see all of these controls nice. I love the style of these controls, how you can adjust the temperature using these dials and it'll change accordingly. I think it's a very attractive look. You do have heated and cooled seats on these leather seats. Nice dark wooden trim. Plenty of storage here in the center with a charging port. Just a nice place to be overall. Of course, that nice stitching carrying over the door card. All of the materials you're touching often in this vehicle all feel very nice in the hand. Even that leather wrapped shift knob with the 
gear selector just here, up or down. So next up, I'm gonna move on to the engine bay, pop the hood and let you hear it running off of a cold start. So up here at the engine bay, a very compact engine bay, you'll find a 3.6 liter V6 idling super happily. You got that nice clean plastics all throughout the engine bay. And even if you look down into the engine bay, a bit more of the mechanics, you find everything to be in really nice shape. Even that heat shield over the exhaust just there. All of it looks wonderful. I'll let you hear it uninterrupted for just a moment. Dead reliable engine. It's gonna do everything you need it to do on a platform such as this. You have your ground point there, jump point. And again, just very clean, clearly well cared for over the years. Next up, I'm gonna move on to the rear seating area. On the second row seats, you do have kind of captain's chairs set up. They are adjustable forward or back, as you can see on that track just there, using this lever on the bottom of the seat. You see you both, you have armrests on each seat and that nice sunroof letting in some natural light for you. As I hop in the second row, you'll find I have plenty of room sitting behind where I would normally drive, being about six foot four. Still have plenty of room on my knees. I have my individual climate control back here. I can power it up, control the radio, control the climate as well. And you do have these nice vents in the ceiling just above you, as well as some reading lights provided as well. So it's a nice place to be for your rear passengers. Next up, I'm gonna open up the third row and give you a tour back there so you can see where your third row occupants will be seated. All right, so I've moved the second row forward and I can hop in the rear third row. As you can see, plenty of room, seats are in nice shape. And even so, being six foot four, I can still sit behind the second row, so it's a nice place to be. I still have plenty of headroom as well. I have a nice cup holder, my own speakers back here. Again, just a very nice place to be, and of course the seats are in nice shape as well. Again, got your own reading lights as well, and you could still use that sunroof, see out the roof and get a little bit more natural light. And of course, exit is very simple. You just grab this lever, push it forward, and then just push the seat ahead. Not a problem to hop right out, even if you're taller like I am. So next up, I'm gonna reset these and give you a tour of the cargo area out back. All right, so I've opened up the electronic tailgate without an issue, and then just to give you a quick demonstration, to drop the rear seats down super easy, just pull that latch and pop them down without a problem, and it's just as easy to put them up. All you do is grab this rope, pull it up, it locks into place, rope Velcros itself to the seat back without a problem. But you can see here you have plenty of storage space. Of course, you can easily drop down those second row seats if you'd like even more of a loading floor. Very spacious, nice place to be, and of course, electronic tailgate, as I mentioned, drops down without an issue, fully electronic, smooth operation. Okay, so before we wrap up, as I promised, I have the key fob just here. So I'm gonna get it to focus here. Two clicks on the lock button, hold down that emblem on the top. Remote starts, fires up without a problem. You can see the indicator lights on there. It's running perfectly fine. So if you have any, pardon me, if you have any further questions related to this Chevrolet Traverse, please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you're gonna find all of your relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day and we hope to hear from you soon.